Hey everybody, God bless you. Have you been checking your fruit? Have you been checking your fruit daily? You know in Matthew 12, 33, it says either make the tree good and his fruit good, or either make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt, for every tree is known by his fruit. What are you known by? Are you bearing the fruits of the Holy Spirit? You know, the Holy Spirit, the character of the Holy Spirit has been manifest in you. You know, and if they're found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now, the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And therefore, as a believer, Christ gave us a commandment. He said in John 13, 34, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another. As I have loved you, that you also love one another. He said that men will know that you are my disciples for the love that you have one another. And you knew it was important for you to do that because in Hebrews 9, 27, it said, every person here, listen to this, have appointed time to die and then there's judgment. The question is, either you're going to be judged by Christ for the works you have done, good or bad, or you're going to be judged but go through the great white throne and be judged by God for, the, for being dead, spiritually dead. You, don't, you want to be, you want Christ, but you need to bear fruits of the Spirit. You need to, don't just, you don't receive Christ and don't change. You receive Christ to change. Not right away, but you change. And that's a daily walk and a daily change. But work on it. And you, don't be angry by the people who think they have, who did bad things have died. That's judgment for them after they die. And look at this, in Luke 16, 19, there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, and designed to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. More of the dogs came and licked his sores, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. And the rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeing Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And said, Lazarus, he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue from torment in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember thou, and thou like time receiveth thou good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted and thou tormented. See, the people who do evil things to people, they will be judged. It is not based on the title that you put on. It's not based on you just saying you're a Christian. You got to bear fruits of a Christian. Check your fruit. Bear good fruit, amen? God loves you and I do too. Love one another.